Well, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, and today I'm going to share with you my favorite worsted weight yarn. So I wanted to kind of do like a series of kind of frequently asked questions that you guys have been asking me when it comes to knitting some cabin socks, or sometimes they're called house socks or boot socks. Um, and so those are knit with worsted weight yarn. So I'm excited to share with you what my favorite um, actual yarns are because it is different from sock knitting. It's not fingering weight. Um, a lot of times it's just 100% wool yarn um, because there aren't as many options out there that are like a wool nylon blend. So I'm going to share with you what my favorites are and hopefully answer those questions and get you on your way with ready to cast on a pair of cabin socks or boot socks for yourself. So if you're new, welcome. I'm a knitwear designer, um, specifically lately cabin socks, and it's just been a thing that I'm obsessed with lately. So if you want to see more uh, tips, tutorials, patterns, um, I have a podcast, then please subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll have lots more cabin sock FAQs answered here for you soon, hopefully. So let's get into it. So my Favorite worsted weight yarns. I have a whole basket of them um, that I have out just to share with you guys. I mean, that right there, those colors are making me really excited. And also, these aren't in any order of like favorite to least favorite. I like all of them for different reasons. And so I'll kind of talk a little bit about what makes them good and what makes them different from each other. Okay, so the first yarn that I'm going to share with you is actually the yarn that I use most often. Uh, cabin socks or other things, but it is what I make most of my cabin socks with and that is this Knit Picks Wool of the Andes yarn um, It is worsted. This particular one is the tweed. So it is the farm farmhouse heather color um, Typically for cabin socks if you're planning to go online to Knit Picks, which is also we crochet um, I would buy two because one is for each socks or one is for each sock so two make a pair of socks each one is 110 yards. This is a mix of 80% Peruvian Highland wool and 20% Donegal tweed. If you don't buy the tweed uh, version, it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. So this is a um, something I knit with on a size 7 needle. Most often it says on here number 6 to 9 for U.S. needles. Um, it is 110 yards and, like I said, 100% wool, unless you're also adding in the tweed. And um, I feel like, okay, so I wanted to share with you the color variety, which if you're going online, the pro is that the colors are like endless for Wool of the Andes. And now sometimes on their website, it'll show less colors because it separates them out as tweed versus not. Um, so make sure you check those different places because it'll, if you look at just tweed, it'll seem like there's not as many colors. Um, but if you just look under Wool of the Andes Worsted, there's, there are so many shades. I mean like shades and shades of red and shades and shades of brown. Um, and so that's really cool is it has a huge variety of color choices. So that is a huge plus. Ease of buy is a huge plus. Um, I've bought yarn from Knit Picks before. Only once have I had not everything I ordered show up. All I had to do was send them an email. They checked my order. They didn't want any picture confirmation. They did. I didn't need to, you know, promise anything. And um, like, like they took my word for it. They they understood that this one didn't show up, and they sent it. And it was seriously there like a day or two later. It was amazing, fast, um, great customer service. So that ease of use means it is a thumbs up from me. Before I knit socks, and especially cabin socks, where you're not using um, so much nylon blended into your wool, I thought wool socks would be just scratchy, and that is true for some wool. Um, this is not one of those. This is very soft. Uh, it's rustic, but not in a rustic where you feel like you're going to be like picking little pieces of sticks out of it. So that is another plus for me. I love this yarn. I feel like they have a really good collection of the colors and the colors that I want. But if I'm knitting something for my girls or my, my baby, my son, I feel like there are really good color choices there too. So you're not limited with colors at all. It's easy to buy. It's soft. Um, and seriously, two of them makes you a pair of socks. So that's, that's a bonus for me. Okay, number two is by Apple Oak 
Fiberworks. This is their air and weight yarn. It's hand dyed. This one actually was hand dyed with buckthorn. So this colorway is called Bear's Paw. This yarn is from um, Ireland. Well, it is dyed in Ireland. It's 100% wool. It is originally from sheep in South America. It's processed in the Czech Republic and it is dyed in Ireland naturally. Um, there's 191 yards in one skein, so I still would buy two skeins, one for each sock. So this is the yarn that I used to knit my pumpkin patch cabin socks. Although that one I, I knit with orange, the color for that, it was dyed with onions. Um, and I think the color name was bronze. So I love this yarn. It is very soft. And it's a weird, like, elastic soft for not having any nylon in it. Um, not weird, like, in a bad way. Not weird in a bad way. Just it's not something that I've come across in all wool yarn before. It's very elastic feeling. Even just knitting it, it kind of had a springy reaction to it. And, um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I knit one pair of socks with these. I love it so much that I went on to go order another pair and I found out that they actually are discontinued with this yarn. But if you go onto the website, and I did reach out to them and they confirmed that they are discontinuing the Aran weight. If you go onto the website, um, there were a few of different color choices available. So if that's something you're interested in, um, go check their website. I'll put it down below in the link for you. I will link all these yarns for you guys also. So that was the yarn across the pond that I bought. So number three, this is a yarn that I got for sale at our local yarn shop. It was on clearance and it is by a company that I'd never heard of. It's in Maine um, and it's called Jagger, Jagger, Jagger Spun Yarn. Um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's 100% wool, 166 yards. So I got multiple colors of it and I did get two of each color because um, it'll be one skein for each uh, sack. So I actually have this yarn in also yellow. I have it in brown and this color is called smoke. And so um, I, I got it in my local yarn shop, but I know going to their website, you're going to find it in a lot more colors also. And it's in yarn shops and it'll also ship to your house. So that's um, a couple more pluses going for it. Okay, the next worsted weight yarn I wanted to share with you is by Sorella. This is her classic, classic worsted yarn. It's a hundred, I can't speak. It's a hundred percent superwash merino wool. So it is very soft. Even though it's a hundred percent wool, it's not scratchy wool at all. It's 218 yards. So my thought with these is that I'm going to be making a pair of shorty socks. I only had bought one skein. This is her from like her Taylor Swift collection that they did a while ago. Um, and this is the color Folklore. So like I said, it's um, very soft. So if you're kind of iffy about if you want all wool socks or is it going to be too scratchy, this is another really good choice because it doesn't feel scratchy. It doesn't feel rustic. It feels um, very spa-like on your feet. Okay, going to the slightly more rustic side of the wool uh, worsted weight yarn spectrum, this yarn is called Simply Wool by Knit Picks or We Crochet. And this yarn is slightly more bulky. So for one of my patterns, I would use, I would have to check gauge. Um, typically, I use a size seven um, circular needle. You might wanna go down to a six with this because it is a little bit bulkier feeling, even though it is considered a four bulky. So to me, I end up with a little bit of a bigger gauge with this, but not so much that it can't be fixed and it doesn't feel too tight and squeezed with a size smaller. So this yarn, like I said, is super easy to get online. It's knit picks or we crochet. Um, it is, they want you to use a size US six to nine needles and it is 100% eco wool. Now with the Simply Wool, um, it's 218 yards and this color is called Wilbur. I will say they don't have as many choices of colors. So it's mostly this kind of natural grays and browns and um, closer to white and then they'll go closer to like really dark brown. So not as many color choices, but it is super easy to get 
is super easy to switch out or get extra or anything like that customer service wise but it is a little more rustic just a tiny bit um it does feel a little more scratchy still we're not getting twiggy here there's no twigs in it but it is just a tiny bit more we'll call it durable um no not durable because that implies nylon we'll call it strong it has it's a little more strong but not at all uncomfortable strong um and this is a really good one for if you really do plan to wear them out with boots um it goes without saying i think that cabin socks really can't be worn with like your regular running shoes or something but if you wear them with boots, winter boots, rain boots, uh, shorty, hiking boots, something like that. These are wonderful for that. All right, the last yarn that I'm going to share is actually the most rustic. This one is Plymouth yarn. It's Galway, Galway, and it's worsted weight. So this is 100% pure wool and 210 yards. So if you knit a size small, pair of socks, you'd be right on the edge um, of being okay with just one of these. This one is, I can't speak to how many colors because I've only ever gotten it in this color, which actually they are calling Sand Heather. So I can't really say one way or another um, if they have a ton of choices online maybe. I know Plymouth Yarn is a huge yarn company and so should you need a different color or more of it, I, it's not like really hard to come by. It's not a limited time. For example, my Sorella yarn, it was like a limited time thing. So this is very easy to get. So ease of um, just ease to buy gives it a good score right there. But color variety, I'm going to say is unknown. Um, it is very rustic feeling. It feels very sheepy and we're calling it strong. And so I could see that they don't dye it in a lot of colors, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. So those are the yarn recommendations that I can share with you for worsted weight sock knitting. Um, thankfully, a lot of them, it's a mix. There's things you can get from your local yarn shop, um, big box craft stores, and just regular small shops online. And so it's really cool that there's things that come in different price points. So check out my cabin sock knitting playlist, which I will put here for you guys to click on for more tips, tutorials, ideas, and all that good stuff that has to do with cabin sock knitting. And um, yeah, you're all set with your yarn that you need, so I hope that you feel inspired to go cast on. If not, head over to one of those videos to get any of your other questions answered. If there's something you still have a question about regarding cabin sock knitting, please put it in the comment section below and I will answer it for you guys there in the comments or if it's a, something that a lot of you guys have a question about, I can make a video and add that to this playlist as well. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more of this content and stay cozy.